Our series Arab in America continues tonight with a trip to Eastern Market in Detroit. That's where a local family set up shop and established a tradition that's still going strong after more than four decades. So how long have you been here, Aras? Uh, it's 40 years. Uh, since uh, 1976, I've been in the business here in Detroit in the same place. So where did you come from? Over Lebanon. From Lebanon. Why did you come to Michigan? It's about uh, opportunities. I heard, you know, it's, that's everybody's dream to come into the United States. You use that to make anything? You can use it to make spaghetti, you can use it to make tacos. like being part of this family business and your sister was talking about like longevity You've been here so long yes yeah, it's been here for 40 years in the eastern market he came here in the eastern market and he was the only halal and nobody wanted to give him a chance did you have dreams when you were in lebanon of opening up a business that's what i came for that's my you know it's uh, that's my dream <laughs> We don't do much advertising. We have one commercial back from like the 80s. Really? And that's it. Other than that, it's, it's so word of mouth. So it's pretty much all word of mouth. Like I say, it's a tight-knit community, you know? One person tells one person, that person yeah. tells a person. You know, your dad said that he doesn't see any challenges being Arab and being in this area and being a successful business owner. Do you, you, know, do you see it differently? In this area, it's, it's, it's highly concentrated in Arabic and Muslim. And, you know, and, and as a community, we, we, we do stick together. For, for the most part, you know, and, and it helps, it does help. Right, why did you think Eastern Market, Halal Meat, did you think? That's uh, the Eastern Market is the base for the whole Michigan. Eastern Market is a big place. This is my chicken rice, it's all down here. I got your chicken parts with bone, mm -hmm. and then you got your chicken boneless. They're like, well, Islamic, you know, they hear Islamic right away, they think what the news tells them or what they hear. Islamic, they start comparing it to Islamic, you know, not, not the best idea, the best picture mm -hmm. images of their version of what Islam is. Are most of your customers, would you say, Muslim? Uh, not really, it's, I got, it's from all over. Does halal, Just halal. taste different than? Is halal, you know, I don't know if it tastes different, but I can say it's more healthy. What year was it that you came over? What years? What year did you come to the U.S.? 73. 73. And here we are, 2016. Did you ever imagine... 2073. You came in 1973. Right, so did you ever imagine, as you look around, you have all these employees, you have family, working for you, working with you. Did you ever imagine you sure, would have this successful sure. business? And I see myself, I'm behind. I should be more successful. What do you think when you see young Arab people today who say, it's hard to be successful, I have so much against me, I can't do this or I can't do that? I don't think so. It's anything is hard to be successful. It's nothing. You decide it and you move it, and sometime you lose, sometime you won. Sounds like, I mean, it's the American dream and you made it happen, right? Yes. Do you remember what it's like going to Lebanon when it was under occupation and having to go through the Israeli checkpoints and everything and how difficult it was back then just to get regular food? And if it wasn't like for like, you know, for him coming here and starting all of this, I don't know what would have happened to our family. A long tradition. Oh yeah, and you know, and he actually left a long line of butchers as well mm. back home, and came here and said, you know what, I'm going to go out on a limb and do this. Came here with next to nothing. Yeah. As sometimes well. you win, sometimes you don't. I like his. Got to take the risk, you right? Work hard, take the risk.